Good day, everyone. First of all, let us introduce ourselves. My name is Naola, and here's my friend, Malai. And we're from SMP and Tatakam. And today, we're going to present our research named Smart Act Analyzer, a portable quality detector as a solution to the impact of the circulation of infrared As all of us know, eggs are one of the most famous food ingredients. We use it for making a different kind of food every day in our home. But sometimes, we don't notice that the egg we buy is a rotten egg. And if we consume too many rotten eggs, it can cause various diseases. Not a lot of people know about the impact of consuming rotten eggs. That's why they don't really care about the quality of the egg that they are consuming. If we take a closer look between rotten and fresh eggs, there won't be any physical feature that can tell us which one is fresh and rotten eggs. So, as the solution of the problem, we decided to create a Smart Egg Analyzer or C, CEA. These tools can help a lot of people know the quality of the egg that they are going to consume. For our upper tools designs, there are battery charger module, step-up series, OLED display, one channel relay, and HPLM. And for the middle parts, there are infrared sensors or object sensors, flux meter sensors, and 1650 battery. And for the bottom part, there is Arduino Nano. And here's our tool making method. First, make a flowchart of the smart technologizer working system. Second, create electronic and mechanical designs that will be used. Third, the mechanical manufacturer of this tool uses a 2-inch parallel pipe which is cut according to the design. Fourth, once the mechanics are ready, assemble the electronics component into the parts according to the design. Next, the electronic circuits include three parts, namely the top for the OLED display, HPL LED, and power supply circuit. The middle parts includes the infrared sensors and lux meter sensors and the bottom parts includes the Arduino Nano as the control used in this tool. After everything is connected, program the Smart Lab Analyzer according to the flowchart that has been created. And then, test the Smart Lab Analyzer to detect X. After that, mechanical finishing with code to make it look more attractive. And last, the Smart Lab Analyzer is ready to use. When do you have to charge it? We have to charge it when it shows red light, because red light means that the battery is empty. And after the light turns blue, it means that the battery is already full. For the use of our tools, the first one, turn on the Smart Tech Analyzer by pressing the small button on the top of the tool until the LCD on the screen tells us that we can insert the X. The second one, open the sampling tool cover. The third one, insert the X you want to test. Make sure the entire egg covers the sensor. After that, close the sampling tool cover. And then the last one, you can check the result of the looks matter on this LCD screen. The level of egg growth is determined by the looks meter sensors rating. These values are divided into three categories. Good eggs with the looks matter of 15, less good eggs with the looks matter of 10 to 15, and the rotten eggs with the looks matter of fewer than 10. The range of rotten eggs and eggs that are not good enough is determined by the results of egg rotting trials. It's both 14 to 21 days as well as the state of the contents of broken eggs. That is scattered for good eggs categorization testing by analyzing fresh eggs that have just come from eggs traders. For the domestic chicken eggs, the first egg looks matter testing is zero, so the eggs is rotten, and then the second egg looks matter testing is 35 and it means the X condition is still fresh and then the third X looks matter testing is 15 that means the X condition is not good enough for the free range chicken eggs the first X looks matter testing is 59 it means the X condition is still fresh and then the second X looks matter testing is 20 and it means the X condition is also fresh and then the third X looks matter testing is zero. It means that the X is already rotten. And for the third X categories, the first X looks matter testing shows that the indicator is 12, so the X is not good enough. And for the second X looks matter testing shows the indicator is 2, so the X is rotten. And for the third X, the looks matter testing shows 15, and that means the X condition is not good enough. 
And for the coil X, the first X shows the signature with indicator of 40 and that means the X condition is fresh. And for the second X, the signature shows that the indicator is 29 and the X is still fresh. The third X, the looks that it shows 27 and that means the X condition is still fresh. After a lot of research and experiments, we can conclude that C or CEA can differentiate between rotten X and fresh X by a sensor and the indicator of flux meter that will show different numbers according to the type of X. For our future project, we can increase detectors with capabilities by integrating with IoT various Android systems to increase flexibility and real-time database. Thank you for listening to our presentation. We hope that what we have shared is will be beneficial for all of us. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.